Welcome to the magical world of Python, where surprises await at every turn. Today, we'll explore the mystical random module, pulling unexpected numbers and choices out of a magician's hat. And the orderly lists, a train that carries items in sequence. Are you ready to hop on this thrilling ride? Let's dive into the enchanting world of random choices and organized collections. Ever seen a magician pull a rabbit out of a hat? Totally unexpected, right? Well, that's kind of what Python's random module is all about. Imagine the hat is Python's random module. Just like the magician can pull out a rabbit, a doff, or a bouquet of flowers, the random module can pull out, well, random things. Need a random number? The random module is your magician. Want to randomly shuffle a list? Ta-da! The random module can do that too. Ever played a game of dice where the outcome is totally up in the air? The random module is a professional dice roller, able to pick a random number within your given range in an instant. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say you have a list of players for your game and you want to randomize their turn order. That's like shuffling a deck of cards. Again, you could manually mix them up, but your random module can do that faster and better, ensuring a fair game for all. When I first learned about the random module, I wondered, where could I use this? Can you think of a situation where picking something at random could be useful in your code? So let's think about this. How can the elements of surprise from the random module make your coding projects more exciting and dynamic? Imagine you have a list of friends and you want to randomly select one to give a surprise gift. The random module can help you do just that. Let me show you a fun project I created using Python's random module on our Imagi Edu platform. I created a starry night animation that displaces randomly placed 20 stars in each frame, making the stars twinkle in random locations on our 8x8 matrix. Let's take a closer look at the code. First, I imported the rendit function from our random module as r, so it's easier to work with. The rendit function gives us a random integer to work with. Then I chose a color for the night sky using RGB numbers. Then I set the background to this deep blue color. I then defined a function called stars that just takes in a default parameter. Well, since I want 20 stars, I wrote for star in range 20. I assigned a bright yellow color as the star color. And pay attention, here's how we use the rendit, rendint function. Since I want to randomly place the stars into our night sky, I assign a random row to r0 to 7. This generates a random row number for the location of our stars. Then I do the same for the columns. After that, I assigned these randomly placed stars to the star color that I've chosen earlier. Then to turn these stars I've defined, um, I create an object of my animation class by assigning A to animation. And since I want to keep generating this random star combination for as long as I can, I write a for loop and set the range to 100, which is the maximum amount of frames that Imagi has predetermined when setting up their built-in animation class. Then I want to place the components of my animation in sequence since they have two different layers, night sky and stars. So I call the built-in background function first, then place my predefined stars on top of the night sky. And lastly, I call the animation method add frame. So it will create 100 different frames or iterations to form the animation that I wanted. Now let's learn a bit about lists in Python. List is a, a data type that allows us to store and access data easily. Unlike dictionaries and tuples, which are also data types, lists are ordered. And with the help of the random module, you can shuffle the order of the list elements, giving you different outcomes each time. By combining Python's random module with lists, you can add an element of surprise to your programs, making them more interactive and fun. We can create a list using the square bracket and access a data in a list using the number index. Let's look at how we can use list and random module to create a scrolling text that says, I love you, with a random text color and background color each time I run the code. Same as our last project. First, I need to import the rendit function as r from our random module. Then I assign words to a string that says, I love you. Next, I assign text color to a list of colors separated by commas and represented by the capital initial letter of the color name. And I do the same for background color. So now when I call scrolling text with word as the first argument, text color as the second argument, well, notice I'm using the square bracket to index into our text color list, and I want a random number so I can get a random color. Then I do the same for the background color.
Imagine you are a treasure hunter exploring a mysterious island filled with hidden gems and ancient artifacts. You have a trusty Python script to keep track of your discoveries. How could you use lists in Python to create an inventory of the valuable treasures you find? Think about how you can add, remove, and access items in the list to keep track of your exciting journey. All right, now it's time to recap what we learned. Today, we embarked on a magical journey, uncovering the mystical powers of Python's random module and the organized charm of lists. We dived into the endless possibilities that the random module offers, pulling surprises out of our coding hat, just like a skilled magician. We looked at an Imagi example of using the randint function. Then we learned about lists and how they keep information neatly ordered and ready for action. We learned how to create a list and how to access data in a list. Remember, the random module is all about unpredictability and fun. While lists bring order and structure to our coding adventure, combine these and you have the perfect potion for some thrilling programming challenges. Congrats! You're another step closer to mastering the magic of Python. Until our next Python adventure, keep exploring, keep learning. I'll see you next time. All right, we've come to the end of today's lesson. Future programmers, if you're excited to learn more, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating Python journeys. Also, don't forget to check out the Imagi app and Imagi Charms, your fun coding buddies that make learning to code a breeze. Keep practicing, keep coding, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, happy coding.